Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604 and today I'm going to do sort of a second version or a follow-up to a video I did about a year ago which was to put Automobilista in its current state through its paces and I'm going to try and introduce as many variables as I can. In this case I'm going to be driving one of the new cars that was released last week with the version 1.4 update uh, at a track that was released with the version 1.4 update and I'm going to be sort of taking advantage of the new live track scenario by introducing some weather we're gonna be racing overnight so we'll see the day to night transitions night to day transitions so basically oh and I've got uh, multiple classes of cars so we'll look at the overtaking behavior uh, between the uh, back markers and the cars on the lead lap so basically again introducing as many variables as I can and then we'll see how things play out and just do a good overall test of AMS 2 in its current state let's go all right guys so just about ready to start here at 2022 Spa Franco shop a little bit of an early shift here in the Janetta. Looks like I will get denied. I thought I could overtake that Ultima into turn one, but no such luck. A little bit oversteer on the exit. And we are away for lap one of what will probably be, what, 25-ish laps. And probably me shifting into 7th gear one or more times. We're trying to shift into 7th gear. This Janetta revs pretty high up the Kemmel Street. And that was a horrible start. Might be able to sneak a position here. AI set to 100, so I don't know how I'm going to do, but I figured... You know, that's probably a decent representation of realistic pace. So we'll see what happens. GT Open mixed with GT3 class here at Spa today. A little bit of understeer there. And I love the look of that 720S. Fantastic looking car from every angle. It's one of the few cars that you don't hate following in a race because it just looks so great. Come on, let's get around there. Whoop, stay over there. Got a decent jump on the McLaren here. Should have inside line through Blanchemont. Oh, I missed the turn-in point by about 50 feet. Who's going to... Okay, nobody dove to the inside. Ultima caught the sausage curb there and ended up on a really funny line. Safe rejoin. I'm going to see if I can outbreak him here into turn one inside line. So, decent start here, up into 12th position after starting, I think, roughly 18th, 17th, something like that. So, good first lap. Pace here with a full tank, somewhere around the 2 minute 20 sort of best case scenario. There we go, 7th gear, I tried for it already. But with traffic likely in the 222s, 223s. I'm on a funny line here, got a car to the inside. I'm off the racing line, so grip is a bit reduced. But I got it done. Chasing another car that looks great from the back, that Porsche, I'd never get tired of that. Janetta behind me, thought about going for the dive, but did not. So this Janetta, it's got hints of uh, oversteer on corner exit. Nothing out of control <laughs> and entry, apparently. Yeah, 
And looking to get a decent exit out of this corner here. Maybe get a run through Blanchemont again. Those two battling it out. Am I going to be able to sneak two more positions? Wow. I did not expect this. So now up into eighth position. And I've got a full hour to work with here, so hopefully I can hold this. AI is going to start to find their pace, I suspect. But as of right now, I seem to be keeping up with them quite well. Got an Ultima in front of me, and then a BMW M6 in front of that. Then it looks like perhaps a McLaren. You can see that 2022 layout of Spa. With the new grandstand, expanded runoff area through Old Rouge Radion. And the sun is definitely setting at this point. So probably not too much light left here. We're going to drive through the night and finish during the day. Got a little weather surprise happening at some point. Gorgeous. Gorgeous game. And yeah, everything feels pretty tight. It feels pretty good. I don't think, and I, I've said this ooh, about the past couple of major updates, I think 1.2 and 1.3 before this, I think if you were sort of waiting to be convinced about Automobilista 2, this might not do it for you. Actually, which one was the Racing USA Part 1 update? Was that 1.2? That was probably, in my opinion, the biggest step forward for you in this, too. And uh, as I say, I, th I think 1.4 shows good progress, but I don't think it's really going to make this uh, undeniable. There's a lot of AMS 2 haters out there, and, and frankly, a lot of people with correct criticisms or what I would consider you know, reasonably negative opinions about this title. Um, and I don't think it's going to do much to answer all of those. I think there is still space for criticism. Um, but, you know, as I say, good, a few good steps forward. And what's the opposite of forward? Back! Which is where I'm falling in the field. Oh no, I held off that Janetta. Only barely. AI too wide there. TWO. Oh, you bumped into me, you son of an onion. Stay back there. Should have a clean line through this Eau Rouge Radion complex. Oh, I think I might get a warning for that. Nope. Thought I had four tires off the uh, curbing there. I thought that might warrant a warning. Yet. Where are you? We are too wide here. I think he's still there. I think I can still hear him. Now that the tires are warm, a lot more grip on offer. You can see that beautiful dusky sky. And the AI at the front, pretty clumped up. Be nice to see them spread out a little bit. Just kind of tells me that either they can't overtake a slower car that's running at the front, or they're all identical pace, which neither scenario is really good. And I seem to be almost keeping exact pace with this AI. 
Hoping to get an overtake on that Mercedes at some point. Really tricky right now though, because uh, there's not much space in front of the 99 car there. So I don't know where I would go. If I did overtake, I'd probably just end up immediately in another fight and uh, perhaps have to give the position back. I don't know. It looks like there's a big group of cars behind me as well. Um, the timing on my sim hub dash at the top of the center screen there, I am showing three cars behind me within about a half second. I don't know if that's all of them. There could be more. So quite a bunch of cars here. Oh, never mind. I've got a track map. And it does show that, yeah, the GT3s and GT Opens were pretty much all bunched up in one cluster. <laughs> Alright, I will have a run on the 99 here. Clean overtake. Whoop, what's going on here, folks? So just about completely dark now. I forgot I had automatic headlights chosen. Not the most immersive setting to have on, but uh, regardless, Automatic headlights and automatic wiper wipers in effect here in AMS2. And if you're wondering, am I using real weather? No, I am not. I have pre-programmed pre four different levels, which should produce some interesting stuff right near the end. Another decent launch. Uh, uh. Is he behind? Uh, yeah, fell behind. Did the M6. Uh, come on. Too busy watching my mirrors give up the spot. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Lost the inside line. I will hold it through the second part of the bus stop chicane here. Or the chicane or whatever you want to call it. Got lucky to hold that position. All right, so bleh. <laughs> tough sentence to say. All right, I should have a decent run here. If I can just hold this line through Edion, might get a two for one here. Might, 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 might. Woo! What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Let's go. I don't have any fuel gauge turned on, so I gotta watch that. I don't know if AMS2 has fuel warnings or not. Oh, already down. Oh, I think I didn't start with the right amount of fuel here. So this could get interesting. I've only got 35 liters left. Oh, somebody bumped me. AI right exactly on my tail. Come on, how much? I want all the fuel.
Whoa, little bump, little bump. And yes, I want tires. There we go. Pit stops all sorted. Fully night now. And gave up a little bit, down about 1.2 seconds to the cars ahead, but narrowing that gap significantly on the straight here. And something of note, if you're wondering about GT Open versus GT3, uh, that's a GT3 car in front of me, and then two Ultimas, so two GT Open cars in front of the M6, so a pretty good balance of performance between GT Open and GT3. And things will really start to get interesting right around when I pit which I think I'm showing nine laps left on fuel if my sim hub is accurate. It doesn't seem correct, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Or is that nine laps completed? No, it's nine laps remaining for fuel. Whoa, 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 whoa. AI really dove inside there. Managed to hold them off. Had to take a funky line though. Whoa, a little bit aggressive there, AI. Take it easy, partner. Whoa, that was pretty wild. That AI two wheel in there. And it brought me up to third position. So yeah, that fuel actually might be correct. It's now showing 29 liters remaining. Oh boy, that's a warning. I did lift though. Warning, no warning, no warning. All right. That AI behind me, it's breaking, it's just wild. Every single corner, pretty much, it gets a run right up onto my back bumper. But I'm keeping up braking wise with the cars ahead, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. It might be one of those objects in mirror or closer than they appear effect, I don't know. But um, yeah, kind of seems a little suspicious. I know you folks can't see that, but uh, I have it in my mirrors, and it seems like they have super braking performance versus me. No, 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 no. Do we have to do this dance? Do we have to do this dance? Come on. Ah. Well, it was clean. I'll just take that back, thank you. Or will I? Apparently I won't. And if you're wondering about the GT4s, 
we're still a ways off. They are at the very top of the Kendall Strait right now, so uh, I'm going to say it's going to be another half dozen laps before we see any GT4 action. So we'll see how the AI behaves in overtaking back markers. That'll be interesting as well. I think my tires must be going because Au Rouge Radion has become very, very difficult for me. I'm also losing p pace to these folks. I can't seem to catch up. That was weird. They're paced through... I can't remember the corner name. Is that Lake Ole? I can't remember. Whatever it is, the... Quick little uh, left, right, right, left combo at the top of the Kemmel straight. AI really seems to struggle as they did right there, and I'm going to take advantage. Down the hill here, up into second place. Ultima is pressing, 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 pressing. Wants that position back, but I managed to hold it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That Ultima, by the way, one of my favorite cars in this game and has been since just about day one. I thought it was excellent. I'm a fan of Ultima as a brand, actually. I don't know if I said Ultima there, but Ultima. Just, I'm, I'm a huge fan of those sort of uncompromising cars. Where it's like, the manufacturer sets out to make something really fast and it's like, should we maybe hire a designer to make it look good? Nah. Nah. Then we risk adding weight or compromising arrow. Let's just put it out to market, looking like it does. Alright, so my timing is showing the first of the GT4s, which is showing about 35 seconds ahead of us right now, or ahead of me, rather. Now down to 30, so we are catching them at a very rapid rate. And I'll check my fuel in a second, make sure I am not compromised on fuel. According to SimHub, I've got six laps worth of fuel left, which should be, what, about 18 liters-ish? 21, so, yep, actually seems in line with my expectations. For anyone wondering about the Moza Racing wheel at the center of the insert camera there, this is my new FSR wheel mounted to the R9 wheelbase, all from Moza Racing. And I'm really loving this combo. This is definitely the best wheel I own. And uh, yeah, I've got the, got the force feedback feeling pretty decent here in AMS too. Haven't quite got it to the level of my Fanatec yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll get there. A matter of tweaks, frankly. These two battling. This might be another situation where I can sneak a position. Whoa. Or give one back. Whatever. No one saw that, did they? Nah. 
We're a half hour into this video, nobody's watching. Alright. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Let's push the pace. Hoping to get some arrow assistance here. Catch this group. And yeah, basically a four-wheel slide there. So these tires are definitely showing signs of wear. All right, that AI making me feel better. The Ultima bumping the M6 there. It looks like we're getting the first signs of daylight coming into the 22nd of June, 2022. Started on the summer solstice. Now the second day of summer here in Belgium. Did that intentionally, intentionally so I could keep the night reasonably short. Time is set to 20x, I believe. And just 10 seconds off the first of the GT4 cars that we will encounter. So certainly not this lap. Oh, oh I saw him coming. That was a really aggressive dive there by the Ultima. I just backed off the throttle just in time. Oh, there's a two-wheeling Ultima again! Alright, clearly in second place now. Five laps of fuel left. When it says two, I'm going to come in. And currently sitting about 0.9 seconds off the car ahead. Who, of course, is the leader of the race. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just all over the map. Closing, closing, closing. About a half a second now. And I think I could probably steal a position here because the AI gets real slow. Ah, uh, no, I wouldn't have got it quite. But uh, I wanted to hang back for a second just to see how the AI deals with this backmarker traffic. And frankly, how the backmarker traffic deals with front marker? Front runner? lead lap you get my point all right not exactly blue flag behavior but AI seems to have or the fast AI seems to have no problem overtaking these McLarens yeah no blue flag behavior no blue flag behavior gotta find your own way through Oh, come on. That was a Janetta on Janetta crime there. Come on, you weird sounding BMW. Ah, oh, no. Well, this seems like a perfect time to pit. I have dropped now into 13th position. All right, so let's get, give the pit team a heads up. All right, well, 
That's uh, probably going to mess things up towards the end of this race, but we'll see what happens. Oh, man. Brutal. So I'm back in 17th position currently. I'll get some time back, of course, when the rest of them pit, but uh, probably not all of it. I don't know if this is going to be enough fuel to get me to the end of the race. How much time remains? Uh, almost exactly half, so it should be good on fuel. Should be good on tires. But yeah, am I going to be able to make up all these positions? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my motion just went into park mode. All right, let's go quickly on the tires. Quickly on the tires, team. Boy, this is a long, long pit stop. Wow. Hopefully not much in the way of repairs. So I'm now down into 21st position for anyone keeping track. Again, I should be good on fuel and obviously good on tires for the remainder of the race. It's just a matter of how much time can I make back. And new tires on a decently rubbered in track. This feels great already. I didn't realize how much I was sliding around. The loss of grip was so gradual. But yeah, car feels really stuck in. Which should mean that I've just jinxed myself and I'm now going to bin it, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is going to be kind of boring until I can catch someone. Currently showing 12 second gap to the car ahead. Nearest car ahead, I should say. So, obviously I'll gain that position back once that AI car pits. But, uh, yeah, it could be a struggle until we get there. Let's see if I can turn some fastest laps here as the sun comes up. T track, ugh, track temp should start to warm. But yeah, kind of frustrating that a back marker took me out. Love to see if anyone from Riza happens to be watching this. It would be really, really great to get some uh, blue flag behavior programmed into that AI. I'm not saying I took the perfect line and maybe there is some impl implementation, but it did not look like they were in any, in any hurry to uh, get out of my way or anyone else's way. All right, we can see the car ahead, that's a good sign. See what we can do for lap time here, maybe get into the 220s. I've yet to crack 221 yet, this race. And the sun is out, it's looking gorgeous here at Spa Francochamps. Come on, Mike. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Try not to push myself too much here. Eight seconds now, the gap to the car ahead. It was as much as 13. That AI is just rapid. Roll Rouge Radion. Right 
Whoa. And voided my lap there. The sand and gravel uh, really has a strong pull effect on the on your wheel. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous this game is. My goodness. I pretty much got low settings on right now, too. Not sure how that looks after uh, YouTube compression, but... By the way, way too much fuel. I have enough fuel, I think, for the whole race on board right now. Throwing 29 laps. I thought the AI would have started to go in for pit, for their pit, but they haven't yet. That was a 219.841 for anyone checking. So pretty decent for having a full tank of fuel. And I should be right on this guy's bumper by the end of this lap. So the pace might be there for a top 10 finish by the time everything is said and done. And realistically, before I hit that back marker, I was on pace for, uh, you know, getting ahead and probably never looking back. So this might have made for better content. Uh, but the intent of this video, of course, to uh, put everything AMS2 through its paces. And unfortunately, that part didn't really do it for me, but otherwise it's been spectacular. Absolutely tremendous. Great driving experience. Great day to night, night to day transitions. Fun AI racing with those that are uh, on the same lap as me. By the way, it's just been an ongoing heat wave here in uh, Western Canada. So I am sweating like crazy. So I apologize if my arms look shiny. It is really, really hot right now. So yeah, I'm suffering. I don't think there's probably much of this race left. Ultima battle. Two nineteen oh five seven. What's the record here at Spa? Two eighteen and change, right? For GT three. So getting pretty close to that. No, 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 AI. You have to respect that I am on the track, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Couple of raindrops. What's gonna come of this? I think I programmed it to light rain, if I'm not mistaken, so whether that's enough to actually coat the track and bring me in for wet tires, I don't know. So let's see what plays out here. Unfortunate timing though, because I was on a pretty decent lap there, especially considering I had to battle with traffic at the end. So highly unlikely this will result in a fastest lap, but I should still be in the 219s. Oh, is it clearing up already? 
Nope, just kind of spitting rain at this point. By the way, I realize how country that sounds, spitting rain, I don't know if that's a saying globally, so <laughs> if I sound very US country, I apologize. Nineteenth position for anyone wondering. If I had to venture a guess, I would say the AI has already pitted. And it didn't really do me any favors. Cars ahead are there's one at three seconds, one at six seconds, one at seven seconds. Currently nineteenth, as I mentioned. Probably about 15 minutes left in the race. I will double check shortly. 20 minutes. So enough time to certainly climb into the top 10 if I can sort of maintain this pace relative to the field. Forgot I had to battle the <laughs> um, back markers again because everybody passed old Uncle Mike. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Good exit here. It feels aggressive. Oh, not again, not again. My goodness. Why does this keep happening? So pretty decent rain now. I think I will come in for wet tires after this. Because these slicks ain't gonna do me much good. Go, go, go. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? It was you who took me out. Stay back, you. Yeah, definitely could be in for the wets. I've got nothing for grip. Oh boy. This is a nightmare.
This is like Lando Norris in Russia. Okay, so obviously the AI followed suit. Quickly, quickly. Nope, I don't need fuel, I don't need fuel. I tried to turn that off, but whatever. Okay, quickly on the tires, quickly on the tires, quickly on the tires. Ah, drop back in 20th. So, let's see how much time's left. 15 minutes, give or take. And uh, yeah, I can be hunting from lap 20, uh, excuse me, from position 20 in the wet. Let's go. Should be a good finish. Let's hope. I'll take that warning. Just had to get out of the way of that GT3, or get the GT3 out of my way, rather. What can we do in the wet here through the fastest corner in the game? So yeah, all the way back down to 21st position. So, so much is going to depend on how the AI performs in the wet. We've seen it in some titles where uh, AI is just unbelievably fast and really not many humans can keep up with AI pace in the wet. But I also see it where AI frequently makes mistakes. So we'll see. Currently, based on these two Ultimas, I, I kind of like my chances. I seem to be able to quite easily keep pace. There's one. I do believe both of these cars were in the pit, so I think they should have wet tires. That was weird. That was unfortunate. So they track now entirely wet. So whether or not this clears up, or stops raining rather, I doubt the track surface will get back to dry at any point, so I think I'm safe with the wet tires. Only thing working against me really is time. Oh, look at this. Big cluster of cars here. These look to be fours. Some of which are going in for tires. So now up into 18th position, so there was some GT3 or GT open car in the pits when I crossed it. And lots of, oh, look at those sprays. Man, this game is gorgeous. I was gonna say lots of uh, tail lights immediately ahead of me, so again, liking my chances for advancing in this race. <laughs> There's an Ultima right on my tail. I don't know where they came from either, so that scares me. Maybe the AI does have good wet pace. Mercedes now within striking distance. I 
I can't even tell what's going on here. There's just so much spray. Hit a GT4. Another GT4 is well off pace. Not sure what's going on there. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say that car is still on slick tires. But really unfortunate because I was in a position to overtake that Merc. But I should have them here. I was sweating before, man. <laughs> this wet weather. If I was outside in the real thing, I would be keeping cool. But here inside, working hard, <laughs> I am sweating like a madman. Under 10 minutes to go. Currently in 16th. So will top 10 happen? I don't know. I believe yes. I think obviously if I hadn't hit that back marker, this would be playing out a lot different. I probably would have a pretty substantial lead by now. Also, if I was better at managing fuel loads, I would be probably well ahead of where I am now. So it looks like those are my class of cars ahead. High class that is. I'm a high class kind of dude. Hard to really get my head around the level of detail and how impressive this title looks at any time of day, especially here in the wet though right now. I mean, it's just this sort of whiteout condition, but with rain. And yeah, I'm so torn on the AI here because I have situations like that where it seemed like they were quite aware of me and the racing is fantastic. And then there's just other times where it just seems to not even acknowledge that you're on track. So not really sure what to believe. And then times like this where I don't know how that Ultima got that launch in the wet or Janetta rather. And yeah, I was just putting these guys in my dust, and now I can't even keep pace with them. So I'm not sure what's going on. Almost seems like rubber banding, but I don't think that's the case. It does appear, though, that uh, I have the advantage in cornering, and the AI in the wet has the advantage in a straight line. Oh, no. Oh. That's unfortunate. Back to 19th position. And obviously nursing some pretty serious damage. Of course, this is all intentional. I wanted to show off uh, the impressive damage modeling here in Automobilista 2. Hope you guys are impressed. How much time left? Yeah, six minutes. I'm not, hey, six minutes, four seconds. I like the number 604 as it turns out. Oh, forget it, man. This car really has nothing left. I don't know what to do. Should I pit? It's going to be like a three minute pit stop. Might as well just finish out the race. We'll see what happens. You never know. You never know. Might get a good battle in, even with this damage. <laughs> Not really. There's just not much in the car. It's just kind of doing its own thing. That was really unfortunate. 
I think I was running my mouth something about... Ah, sorry, I'm just mad at myself. Um, something about how the AI has a straight line advantage. So I think I was trying to compensate for that and I put the hammer down big time. Coming into the uh, start finish straight. And paid the price. But I'm having a decent go at this Ultima here. Got to figure out how to work with this badly damaged car. It'd be nice if the AI looked in its rearview mirror and saw me driving this Mad Max style race car and it's just like, ah, I better get out of this dude's way. He definitely knows what rubbing is. But... <laughs> thoroughly enjoyable overall. Uh, race hasn't gone my way for several reasons. Some of which self-inflicted. Others I feel that... A bit of polish could... Uh, could improve things here in AMS2, but overall very good. So yeah, we should be getting a bunch of content through the back half of 2022. I am sure the Reza team is taking a well-deserved break after all the 1.4 development, but hopefully we see some content fairly soon for this title. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but there's like all kinds of rattles and knocks coming from my car right now. And of course, a big, massively damaged front right of the car. Alright, can I gain one more position before the end of this race? Under three minutes? Of course I can. You better stick around and see. To my credit, the AI is not pulling away. I just gotta time it right. Find somewhere to complete an overtake. And I still think I have a corner, despite having a badly damaged car, I still think I do have an advantage in the corners. But whatever I do, I've got to get it done well in advance of Eau Rouge, because AI just crushes me up the Kemmel Street. Oh, there's that overtake done already. Whoa. Come on. Come on, Mike. Hold on to this position. AI to my right. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, we're fighting. So, yeah, this will not be a positive result at the end. But I will not get last place. There's somehow somebody behind me in this class. I'm running 20th, and I believe 21 are GT Open or GT3 cars. Which, again, roughly the same pace, so proud of myself for not coming last. That's my general philosophy in life. Just don't come last. If you're last, you're last. Words to live by. All right, one final lap here, I believe. Yep. So I'll get one last run at these cars, see if I can not finish 20th. Oh, 
Oh, there's chaos up ahead. There is chaos up ahead. Work with the chaos. Become one with the chaos. Still in 20th, unfortunately. All that was just GT4 is causing havoc, wreaking havoc. Look at me, 19th, woo! And by the way, the rain driving, it's difficult, but I wouldn't say it's impossible. Um, I find R Factor 2, people are going to hate me for saying this, but I find the R Factor 2 rain driving can be too hard. I think ACC perfected the feeling of driving in the rain. Um, to no one's surprise, I'm sure, I've never actually driven a GT3 or GT4 car uh, on slicks in the wet, but to me, the behavior of the cars in ACC in the wet is how things should be. Look at this! Who cares about ACC, Mike? Talk about AMS2, because you just got 16th position. No. Oh, this is bad. 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 No one? Okay, hug the inside here. Hug the inside. Okay, protect this. Final corner. Protect this. Protect this. Protect this. Uh, was that fun? Uh, sheesh. Almost happened again. Oh no, that wasn't the last lap. Never mind. So I am about to get bodied. McLaren 720S to my left. I want no part of that fight. You go ahead. Mercedes, please do not wreck me. Please do not wreck me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is bad. This is bad. Back to 18th. My happiness. Has slowly been taken away over the course of one corner complex and one straightaway. Plenty of standing water on the track now, not making things easy, that's for sure. Mercedes on the inside here. This is going to be fun. Somewhere between fun and horrible. Let's go with fun. Just so much standing water on this track. You can see it glistening. But I'm doing okay. If anyone asked. 18th position. My hands are just killing me right now. Been gripping this wheel so hard for a better part of an hour. Ugh, come on. I love you, McLaren. Don't do me like this. And you did me like that. All right, Blanchimont. This is going to be a tough, tough go here. AI behind me is going to close that gap. I guess if I can get in here, get a slipstream, might help things a little bit. Okay, can I help break this McLaren? The answer is a partial yes. No, no, no. Ah, okay. All right, well, that was fun. Overall, 17th. And, uh, yeah, it really put AMS2 through its paces here, and uh, overall performed great. I mean, I had a great time. I, would I like to see better blue flag behavior? Yeah, of course. 
Um, and then what else? Oh yeah, AI seems a little too fast in the straight lines in the wet, uh, but I seem faster than them in the corners, so uh, would be nice to see that sorted. But overall, I mean, gorgeous, really fun, and uh, yeah, good single player racing. So well done to Reza once again. Version 1.4 is now available for AMS2. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's great to be back, and we'll see you next time.